All right, chapter eight. So we're going to talk about how economists define and compute the unemployment rate. And um, interestingly enough, uh, there's more than one unemployment rate, which we're, we'll explore towards the end of class. There are kind of different sieves, so to speak, uh, in terms of how you separate unemployed people and employed people. It's not as simple as uh, it first appears. So we divide the adult population, right? So we're talking about 18 to 65 working age. And we classify these into employed peoples. Right? They're currently working for pay. Right this second. We've got unemployed peoples. And you guessed it, these are people that are out of work. But here's the thing, the definition is not that simple. It's a twofer, out of work and actively, so again, this is important, actively looking for a job. So it's not just that they're out of work. That's just one part of it. They have to be out of work and actively looking for a job. If you are not actively looking for a job or currently employed, then you are what we would classify as out of the labor force. These are people that are not working and not looking for work. So an important distinction, though, is they could want employment, right? So this is regardless, this is whether they want employment or not. It's not enough to want something. You have to be actively looking for a job in order to be participants in the labor force. And this thing right here, these two things together make up the labor force. So the labor force is all those peoples employed and those unemployed with the technical definition of unemployed, meaning they're out of work and actively looking for a job. So now that we have these baseline definitions, now we can actually define what our unemployment rate is. So our unemployment rate is defined to be the percentage of adults who are in the labor force and thus seeking jobs, but who do not have jobs. So the unemployment rate is defined as all of these unemployed people, so all those people who are out of work and actively looking for a job, divided by the labor force. So in other words, we can define this as it's our unemployed divided by our employed plus our unemployed. Does that make sense to everyone?
So the important part to remember is this actively looking for a job. If you're not actively looking for a job, you are out of the labor force, also known as not in the labor force, right? And if you're not in the labor force, you don't show up in any part of this, right? The only way that you actually show up in either the numerator or the denominator is if you're part of the labor force, meaning that you're actively employed or you are out of work and actively looking for a job. Being out of work and not looking for work, even if you want a job, even if you are constantly complaining about not having a job, does not make you a part of the labor force as we define it.